custom layout grid for your laser. Uh, of course, I have the grids on all of my lasers, you know, that show in uh, 10 millimeter squares how to set things up. And I have some jigs made up for things like coasters. Well, I have here, I need to run batch of coasters here today. And these are kind of an odd size. So coasters are normally three and a half or four inch or 100 millimeter or something more standard. This batch I have here, these are 95 millimeter. I need to just, just run a batch. It's kind of a one-off thing. I'm not going to be doing this at production and doing hundreds and hundreds of them. I just have a uh, carton of them here I need to do. So I don't want to do one at a time. Uh, that's kind of a pain. I want to be able to do 16 at a time. So I'm going to be using a longer B1 laser because it's sitting here. And it's handy. You, could, you don't need a 40 watt laser to do this. You can do it with a 5 watt laser. This is cork. Very, very easy thing to uh, engrave on and I've done a, a beginner video on how to do cork. But what we're going to do here is make a quick layout grid. I'm going to take you on the computer. I'm going to show you how I lay this out. Okay, so here we are on Lightburn and this is what I am making. And I can do 16 at a time. And what I need to do, as I said, uh, mentioned earlier, this, these are 95 millimeter diameter coasters, which is an odd size. And I need to do a lot of them. So what I'm going to do is make a temporary spoil board and just engrave the tool path for each one of these onto that spoil board so I can just lay my coasters in there and go. So how do you do that? Well, it's very easy. There's a, a function in Lightburn here called uh, an array. So what I'm going to do here, just to kind of show you, is I'm going to move my whole thing off the screen. Then I'm going to go up here. I want to make a circle. And that circle needs to be 95 millimeters. And I am going to make that a toolpath. Go back up here and select this. Actually, no, for this I'm going to actually make it a line because I'm going to burn this into the uh, spoil board. So now I can go over here and click on Array. And my X columns and Y columns, I'll each want to put a 4. We'll click OK here. And then I'll center that. And I will burn that into the spoil board. Uh, whether it be a piece, of, it might just be a piece of cardboard. This is a one off thing. I don't need to make anything permanent for this. But that will have them all uh, equally spaced, and then I can just lay my coasters in. And when I bring my other graphic back in there, just uh, take off and go with it. So that's a quick way to create a layout when you have to do a bunch of the same thing. Okay, I was originally going to just use a piece of cardboard, but I couldn't find one that was actually flat enough. So I've got a scrap pile here, it's a piece of MDF, and I just stuck a screw in each corner to keep it from moving around. So I might have to do a few batches of these. Uh, so I guess I'll have one I can reuse if I need to in the future here. But all I need to do now is load the uh, array file up with that red layer that you saw me choose. And I turned off the layers on the other one so I won't try to engrave anything else. It will just engrave these circles for this grid pattern. And I have focused my laser for this surface. And I've already framed it to make sure it fits. This got a little bit of a tight fit. So I'll just hit start. And away it goes. I'm a little close on this front edge here, but that's fine. So there's a the layout grid and as when I need to just place all my coasters, they'll fit right in that little circle there and away I can go with them. So then I can just simply set all my coasters in there and hit go. Get the file loaded back in here and hit start. And away it'll go. 
and I can go do something else for a little bit right around the shop here while this is engraving. So there was a quick one on how to do a little temporary layout grid and uh, create an array and light burn. It's, it's, it's simple, it's easy to do. So this is just a quick one to show you how to do this. I've got all my coasters printed here, or printed, engraved now so I can uh, go drop those off. And uh, since I did this on a piece of MDF, I'll probably save that piece and I can always use it again somewhere. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up, always helps the channel. I'm Roger in the shop. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.